So here we are at our home range. We're doing a little bit of load testing with the 22 Creed. Uh, this is one of our school rifles, one of our new loads we're sort of working with and uh, seeing what she'll do speed wise. So keeping track of the velocity. And then for those that are attending the long range shooting school that's online, just remember to focus on that mental checklist when you're getting ready to shoot, how important that really is. And just the art. And we'll be doing a little bit more filming of that tomorrow. So remember the mental checklist. It's an after point of aim. We're not pushing or pulling the reticle to get on target. Once we get there, we go from our hand to our shoulder to our face. So firm handshake grip. Don't forget to pinky out. Load the bipod or pull the rifle gently into the shoulder. About three pounds. Cheek while cheek pressure. Natural respiratory pause. Straight clean pull the trigger. Let's see what this load will do. The gun's clear. I'm going to go ahead and start up the chronograph and let's see if we can't get some speed. So right around 3,000 feet per second, um, three shots, broke off the gun, came back down, shot two more, that's not too shabby. And it's an 88 grain, um, ELD match, very mild load, 26 inch barrel, really good for a school or training rifle. So this is a little bit different of a rifle. Um, this is my personal hunting rifle, and these are some solids that I'm testing in a 22 Creed more. So again, this is going to tie into our um, online long-range shooting school, but it's fundamentals of marksmanship. We're going to do a little bit of load testing. We're trying to get a little bit of speed. Uh, these are 60 grain cutting edge. They call them uh, Raptors. And so we're just going to give a couple test loads with some powders we're working on. But just to demonstrate fundamentals, keeping in mind that mental checklist now, I do not have that checklist laying out here with me, but for starters, if you're new to this, make sure you have that list out and you're going over it piece by piece. So let's see what we got. I'm gonna shoot one group just to see if we're on paper, and then I'm gonna chronograph the second group. So we'll see what we got. This group that I'm shooting today is a Leupold, and it is a VX5 HD and it is 3 to 15. So remember that metal checklist. Knock your point of aim from handshake grip. Don't forget about the pinky. Load the bipod or pull the rifle gently under the shoulder. Cheek claw, cheek pressure, not trust story pause, straight clean, pull the trigger. Here we go. So this rifle has not been zeroed, so it's low. Let's see what we got. There's one. I'm just gonna let the bullets fall where they may, and then we'll do a zero when we work on the next load. Not bad. Same hole. Three. 
And four. Yeah, for 15 powers cook, that's not too bad. And first time we've tried this powder and this bolt combination. I have 22 creeps, so three about the same hole, one just a little bit out. Now I'm going to do a quick zero. So I'm going to come to the right about four tenths. This is a three round MDT polymer mag, so it's not rattling around and making all kinds of noise in your rifle while you're hunting. So I can put three in the mag and one in the rifle. And let's shoot another group. This is a different load now, mind you. Uh, we're working our way up through, but we just want to see what kind of speeds we're getting. A uh, 17 inch barrel suppressed and uh, 4831 and 60 grain hunting gear. So you notice I'm sort of wiggling around, getting my natural point of aim dialed in. All right, here we go. There you go. That's a nice group. And this load hasn't been tested in this rifle. We're running right around 3222 with a 60 grain bullet. That is just beautiful. And 60 grain in this lightweight rifle. And we'll do a little review on it in a minute. Just no recall. Super fast follow up shots. Really nice shooting rifle. All right. So. We're going to check two more loads through the, this is the school rifle in 22 Creed. Um, this is a brand new powder that's never been shot through this rifle before, uh, shooting an 88 grain ELD match. And so what we like to do is just try to experiment with them, uh, keep the speed reasonable to give us really good barrel life, um, but still keep up with this performance. So this is uh, H4831 shortcut. So let's give her uh, two more rounds. Let's give her two more loads and see what we got. Now again, for those attending the online long range shooting school, fundamentals, 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 fundamentals. Go down a little bit. Not too bad, though. There we go. Nice. So we're just going to up that one more time. And we'll see if we can't get us right around 31 and change. Um, I'm not one for pushing speed. Our bullets are HP encoded, so it does slow them down a little bit. Let's try one more and see what you do. But as you can tell, this is four different loads, and I mean, all of them, outside of me being rusty and this being winter, I would say all of them are pretty dang good. Let's try again. One more.
Here we go. That's four of them. Um, nice speed, 3037. We're not pushing it really hard. Uh, just an incredible shooting load. So I'm real happy with that. Great standard deviation. Let's pull the targets and take a look. All right, so we just finished up just testing some of our rifles here. And I want to talk a little bit about the 22 Creedmoors and just the story of these two rifles. So this is my personal hunting rifle. Uh, with the bipod, everything the way that she sets, um, with the suppressor and everything just the way she sets without the bipod, she's just under nine pounds. Um, I can add weights to it, the shootability, it's a folder. There's other things I can do to re remove weight and so on and so forth. But I uh, wanted to test 60 grainers that have never been shot through this gun before with a powder that's never been shot through this gun before. We'll talk about this in some of our reloading classes as well. But here's our, our groups and just two quick groups. We're rusty. It's really not our shooting season here. So we don't get a, a chance to practice as much. So um, new powder, new load, new bullets. Of course, everything was just put back together. So I had to re-zero the gun a little bit because everybody's been playing with it. So I re-zeroed here, but three shots have one a little bit out. But then this is the next group through the gun. Uh, 30, 200 feet per second, solids. And I mean, just no problem. And people ask about all the time, like how difficult it is to find working loads for a gun. And I really don't find that to be much of a problem. I'll go through work a couple loads, I'll pinpoint one that looks pretty promising, you know, half inch or better. And I'll start tuning it up a little bit and, and go with the rifle. I mean, technically speaking, if the gun can shoot uh, sub half, uh, I should be able to hit something at, at a thousand yards, it's five inches. So, you know, I don't, I don't hyper-focus on you know, just narrowing and narrowing and narrowing down. Some people just like to do that, I think, full time. Me, I want to load to go out and shoot. So this is uh, on film, uh, just a 60 grain Raptors, solids, uh, 4831 shirt cut, brand new powder, never shot through the gun before. Did really well. Now the rear, the real story here isn't the, uh, the school rifle. So this is one of our school rifles in 22 Creed. And again, this is a rifle that we've done no load development for with this powder. Uh, this is something just right out of the gate, just coming out. We loaded these up last night, myself and Richard and, and Lori, our office manager. And of course, first group through the gun, uh, not bad. And, and keep in mind, actually a five shot group, I broke off the gun and did a reload, got back down and shot again. Same thing here. I had one come out just a little bit, but after I just zeroed a little bit uh, to work with the load, um, then I shot a nice little group right here with one that went out. Same thing here. Um, again, if you look at group two, after I zeroed the gun, group three and group four, um, just work, this is different charges, by the way. But if you look at their point of impact and we overlaid this group, this group, and this group, all of them are sub half. And we have two more loads to work with this, but this is a four shot group through the rifle, you know, on film, not cherry picking, just coming out and doing load of them. This is just normal stuff that we do. Now, the really cool part to the story isn't that this rifle shoots this group. It's that this is a 22 Creedmoor that has nearly 2,000 rounds down the barrel. Yes, that, I said that correctly. So a lot of people do different things and talk about different things about barrel burners, right? And the 22 Creed and some others have been thrown in there that, oh my God, you know, you're going to get it in eight, 900 rounds through it or 1200 rounds through it and the gun's going to be toast. This rifle, the way that she sets, has been shot all year long by dozens of students through classes, uh, 160, 200 rounds a class and literally nearly 2000 rounds through the gun. And it's still capable of producing groups like this. And I find that to be absolutely amazing. And so we're working up a new load with this with 4831 shortcut, uh, a powder that's readily available, abundant, 4350 was sort of hard to find, H1000 a little slow for what we want to do. And so we, we picked out 4831 shortcut, really well-known powder. Uh, I like it in other calibers as well. It's abundant and it dies to speed down just a little bit, as you've seen on the chronograph, we're at a little over 3000, which is beautiful for a trainer, by the way. And then, um, I mean, just literally first, this is the first time we've ever shot this powder. That's group one. I did a zero check, group two, group three, group four. And so uh, with a gun with 2000 rounds to it and with the shooter who I have to admit is rusty, uh, this is our build season and busy season with all the classes. I honestly don't get to go out and shoot as much as, as, as I should or as I would like to, although this year we're really hoping with 
Uh, the coming online with my hunting rifle that we're going to change that and, and get some animals harvested for our share room as well as maybe even get out and do some shooting at some matches now the last thing i want to share with you is one of the things that we found with the 22 creed and again this isn't a 22 creed video it's just us showing the load development and shooting some of the rifles on film is just the power that they have at close range the velocity and how long the bullets are how high their sectional density is they are stunningly hard on both steel and critters. So I wanna share with you real quick, I pulled this. This is half inch AR500 plate. And this is a year at the shooting school of just being hammer forged. So, I mean, you can see that she has cracked the whole way down. There are dimples all over the place. That is all from the 22 Creedmoor. You can see the crack. So it actually broke this plate this year. And this plate's been here for a while. It's been hit with many, many calibers. And the 22 Creed has just been absolutely vicious. Uh, some of the speeds that we run, you can run up to 3,200 feet per second in matches. And so we do have some higher velocity rounds. And with the 75 Granders, we're up to 34. So that's part of it. It's just how hard they hit at close range. But just the amount of energy and the damage that they can do is just absolutely incredible. So I wanted to share this plate with you as well. So if you're new to the channel and you don't mind... So if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff like this here in the future. I'm uh, really looking forward to talking about the rifles and the ACE system and just getting them out on film a little bit. This is five years of research and development. If you like the video and you'd like to see more like it, please, we ask you to subscribe as well as hit the notification bell and that way you're notified every time we post up a new video. And uh, looking forward to having you along. So thanks for taking the time to join us. And looking forward to sharing with you lots of great information about reloading, about shooting, and all the things that we do in making and running custom rifles. Thanks for joining us.